The Three Little Pigs by Gwen Liptak. One day in a quiet little hut, there lived three little pigs, and they said to their mom that it was time to leave. So the three little pigs left their home. Then the three little pigs left. The first pig was named James. He found some hay on the ground. James built his house of hay so he could play on the swing. The second pig was named Jessie, and she found some twigs, and she built her house of twigs so she could play too. The third little pig was named John, and he found some bricks. He built his house out of bricks. He got his bricks from a man. It took him all day t to build that brick house. He didn't have any time to play. The next day the houses were built, but then the big bad wolf came. The big bad wolf knocked on James's door. The wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, said the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. With the wind in his face, he blew the hay house down. The little pig ran to his sister's house. The, the wolf followed him. Then the, wolf, then the big bad wolf came to the second little pig's house. He knocked on Jesse's door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. The two little pigs said, Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. With the wind in his face, he blew the toy house down. The two little pigs ran to their brother's house. The wolf followed them. Him. Then the wolf came to John. John's house and knocked on the door and and the wolf said little pig little pig let me come in the wolf said not by the hair on my chinny chin chin then I'll then the wolf said then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down so the wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed the brick house was too strong. Then the wolf had an idea. He climbed to the chimney and went to, down into a blazing pot of water. And the wolf jumped out of the pot and went running down the road. The wolf never bothered the three little pigs again. And they lived happily ever after.